Welcome back to more Let's Play Suzerain with me, Arjun. And we're going to be taking more looks at democracy with Argent characteristics. So I'm just going to give this a minute to start. Why is this not starting? Okay, it says streaming. Where is said stream? Give it a minute. Okay, I wonder if there's a problem with my internet or... Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. We got this. We got this by the ass, as the AVGN would say. Let me see. Has live streaming... Yes, live streaming is finally starting to work on Odyssey. This is great. Uh, it is working on Rumble, I think. And I think Twitch is working as well. So there it is. We got this. Uh, we got this. So I know this is the third day in a row, but as I said, I can't really do very much of this in one sitting. Uh, so um, we're just going to be doing uh, these whenever I have time and whenever I feel the um, whenever I, I kind of want to, because uh, I like doing this game and I can only play it for a like an hour and a half or so before my throat just gets really tired. So uh, hit the thumbs up button and we're going to start in a minute. So let me think, is there any housekeeping to cover? Well, um, I guess sometime in the next month, I guess. Yeah, it's about a month. Uh, I'll be turning the big 33, which... Honestly, I'm not, I don't feel too bad about it this year. I normally get kind of depressed whenever it's my um, my birthday. But this time, uh, I actually feel pretty good about it. I'm just going to skip this because we covered this last time. Um, and I guess it didn't go. So we're just going to skip through this. But... Mm, don't comment. Okay, I'm just going through this. I'm just going to try to um, go through this. Okay. Wakanda is Wakanda is now. So, yeah. So, so anyways, like I said, I, I'm feeling pretty good. I normally get really depressed on my birthday, but in a new city, have a good job now. Um, life isn't bad. Living on my own. So, I guess that's success in life. At least by millennial standards. Uh, okay. I'm just skipping through this because we covered this yesterday. Yeah, it'll be my birthday in the next couple weeks. So, I'm just... Um, it's always a time of year for self-reflection. But, like I said. Living on my own, unless you count living with rain as not being on my own. Said girl is currently on my couch staring at me. Like she always is. Right? What part of your day is just staring at me? Must be like a large portion of it. Okay, Tourism and Cultural Preservation Act. The Swordland Tourism and Cultural Preservation Act aims to amplify the culture and tourist allure of a number of different cities. The Great National Assembly is pushing, is, is a collective push to establish Swordland as a global tourist destination and reduce the effects of the recession. Uh, so I am going to veto this because uh, once we get to like a police state, uh, I don't think many people are going to want to come here uh, on vacation. So... We will use that budget elsewhere. Okay, briefing on the results from the Reform Committee. Okay. We would be changing Seoul's Constitution of 29. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm just checking to make sure that's running. Uh, 
Lucien arrived exactly on the hour mark again. Are you waiting behind the door to come in at the exact second? I'm sorry, sir. You seem to always arrive at the exact second for all meetings. Punctuality is important to me, sir. I'm just doing my job. Uh, let's see here. Reform committee? How does it look? Okay, Peter and Nia arrived. Let's us begin to tackle the future. Uh, okay. So we get the constitution coming. Okay. Uh, the liberals are demanding we completely rewrite the constitution to be like super liberal. Uh, we're going to take a look at it. We are going to be doing a soft dictatorship constitution wherein we are going to make it look like it is democratic when it is not democratic. So we will be doing some things like term limits because we're going to be running the next election as on the platform of no re-election. Uh, there, there's no second election in this game, so we don't really have to worry about it. Okay. Okay. Okay, all right. Uh, who else would be willing to support the reforms? Uh, yeah, so we start off with the liberals. Uh, you also get the, you can get the centrists come in. Um, you can also get the, uh, you can um, bribe the solists on the court to support you, which we're probably going to do. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we will convince the leads. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. We're just talking about how we have to get the conservatives on board. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, they will not be allowed to dictate the negotiations. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go through. I will cover these, um, this stuff when we, uh, get to them. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's keep the changes small and manageable. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so basically we'll cover that once we get to it. I hope I did the right choice earlier on so that we could get the dictatorship uh, constitution. Um, if not, then... Um, I don't know if I'm going to have to like re redo this offline or something, but let's see here. Okay. So Hawker is going to come in and try and intimidate me. Hawker is basically the big bad of this whole game. He is the leader of the deep state. Okay. Uh, signing dozens of them. Another long day. So the Chief Justice is coming. I'm just going to relax for a moment. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Lucien. I'm sorry that I couldn't explain the situation to you in detail earlier, sir. The Chief Justice insisted on seeing you this evening. I do not know what he has to say, but it's probably about the Constitution. He'll be coming with Mr. Gar Garrisi. So Garrisi is more corrupt, so he's a little bit more uh, amenable Uh to helping you out. Uh, I think they're here to test the waters. Let's see here. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. So Chief Justice Orson Hawker, who looks like Palpatine. I don't know. I think he kind of looks a bit like Palpatine, at least with the way his, uh, his eyes are. Welcome. Good to see you, gentlemen. Good to see you indeed. Uh, may I? 
please. Okay. How are your first couple of months going? Uh, to be honest, it was a rough start. I can't, couldn't imagine, yet I think you're doing a good job so far. Considering all that's happening around us with the shootings near the palace and on our borders, it's a troubling time. We appreciate your concerns. So, we're here to gaslight you. You probably know why we're here to gaslight you. You're here to stop the new constitution. Uh, we are only here to tell you the Supreme Court does not approve to, of the attempt to change the constitution. Uh, let's see here. You want to make a weaker constitution, the problems from inside and out. I thought that, um, I'm really worried that I screwed this up and I'm going to have to restart this run. Uh, so, okay. I know what goes on. Uh, yes, Mr. President seem to you, Mr. P yet you, Mr. President seem to be only partially informed about the current situation. Please let us explain the reasons of our stance. Okay, let's let's hear what's going on. Uh, we are protecting the Constitution because it works, Mr. President. It is efficient and gives the authority to lead the nation with swift decisions. Swordland has more important problems and threats that we should face right now instead of nitpicking about some paragraphs of the Constitution. We have a potential war within our borders. I was doing a dictator run. I'm saying I might have accidentally um, not selected the right decision option earlier on. Uh, okay. Well, no, but it's the, the thing is, it's a bad outcome, but it's like not a funny bad outcome. Uh, okay. We all know that sort of security forces found static st stashes of, you know what? Let me just check the save file. Um, and see if I can edit it there. Because the save files of this are super easy to deal with. Uh, okay, so. So. Uh, speech. Strengthen executive power. I want that to be true. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Uh, one second. Yeah, just give me a second. I'm just going to uh, edit the save file and then reload this. Uh, okay, base game support, turn one. More executive power equals false. Okay, I'm pretty sure I said more executive power equals true, but I guess it didn't uh, save it properly. Okay, so I'm just going to reload this. Uh, it's really annoying. Uh, okay. Okay, so let me just uh, do this. Uh, I haven't done the Constitution proposal yet, so... Um, yeah. Um. Uh, okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted. Okay. So we want manual save. And I want executive. Actually, I think I'm going to have to go back and fix this uh because i think it it like reset um it changed so sorry i'm like 90 percent sure i said that i wanted more executive power but maybe it just it didn't hit the right one or something like that it it, it is really nice that the save game is so easy to edit in this because it can be a bit wonky. Okay. Let's see this. Uh, I'll have to edit this out. There's a lot of things I'm going to have to edit out when we do this. Uh, okay. 
All right, let's restart this. I'm sorry about that, everyone. Uh, don't worry, I am a, I am a professional. Looks like there's a schizo post somewhere in the chat. We'll take a look at that in a minute. I want, no, I want suzerain. I don't want. I don't want my my explorer. I don't. I want my um, the game I'm playing. Oh, sometimes this is really annoying. There we go. Okay. And we're back. Okay, we're going to go back to the checkpoint because I think I have to go through the uh, Constitution debate again. So we're just going to, I'm just going to go through this and we're just going to skip through. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. Okay, how does it look? Right. I'm just trying to see. I'm just trying to see if I did this properly. If we can get Franz Richter to work with us, we did it for the elections, we can do it again. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Uh, let's go through the draft. Um, okay, I'm just trying to figure out, like, um, it's so annoying. I'm not sure if that is going properly or not. Because they said there that the National Front will never agree to work with me. But I have it set to do this properly. I want reform, more executive power, true. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I see now. Okay, so there's like three or four different triggers that just didn't fire for some reason. So I'm just going to go back and change this um, and, and try to fix this because it's really annoying. Okay. Oh. Uh, I want the checkpoint. Okay. Through. Okay. Reform work with reformists. False. Uh, stock investments. So I'm just trying to find where it is. Okay, reform. No. Can you be NATO and not Union? Uh, okay, game turn three. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry for this. I had 
I'm 90% sure I had hit the right stuff on this. Okay, let's try this again. <sighs> this is what one must endure sometimes for the good of the live stream. Don't worry. I, I will. I'll, I'll try to remember to edit this out because this is. This is painful. Okay. All right. Let's see here. So we're going to go to checkpoint. <sighs> okay, let's see if this works properly. Good afternoon. How does it look? Uh, let's see here. Ever be able to get the national front? Okay, I'm just going to keep going. And if not, then I will, I'll just restart the game offline. Because that's really annoying that that didn't work. Okay, so we already covered this. <clears throat> Let's see here. see here maybe the event will will change later on um when we do the other thing okay so let's go ahead to this my my one of my few complaints about this game is the prologue is just so long like we haven't even got into budget yet so let's see here okay we're just gonna skip ahead to where they come Okay, so they're gonna gaslight me now, please. Uh, okay, rough start. Okay. Please enlighten us, Mr. Hawker. We know you're working on a new constitution, okay. Um, we can figure something out. If you decide to give us a listen. Um, Mr. President, you seem to be only partially informed about the current situation. Please allow us to explain the reason for his stance. <clears throat> okay, please explain. We are protecting the Constitution because it works, Mr. President. We're protecting the, the, the Constitution. We're protecting democracy. <clears throat> Swordland has more important problems and threats that we should face now instead of nitpicking about some paragraphs of the Constitution. We have a potential war. <clears throat> Mr. President, I know that you're a busy man, so I'll make this quick. Okay, so as you guys may remember, Rumberg was giving uh, assault rifles to the uh, bloody and separate, the bloodish separatists. Um, we also have the um, the fighting that's broken out between the left and right wing after the shooting of the communist by the uh, uh, far right militias. Okay, uh, sadly, we don't see the administration taking the necessary precautions. You said you would not focus on the military during your term under current situations. No, you can't play as Rumberg. You can only play as Swordland. You can play as Rizia in the DLC, which is coming out later. 
Uh, so Rumberg is supposed to be czarist Russia, but with a British flair, if that makes sense. Like the names and stuff are based off of Britain, but it's very heavily inspired by uh, czarist Russia. Uh, we are taking necessary steps. Okay. Uh, are you aware that uh, the armed blood separatists have direct connections with the Workers' Party of Bloodia? Uh, everybody knows that. I mean, yeah. You know what this means? You remember the vote of the Workers' Party in the last election? What is this all about? The only reason they are not in the assembly is because of the electoral threshold. They have gotten quite big. They are clearly getting outside help, and their connection to the paramilitary bloodish forces cannot be denied. And all of a sudden, the reformists are trying to decrease the electoral threshold so that the bloodish separatists can be legitimized in the assembly to achieve their aim of independence. This, this massive, like, conspiracy, like, schizo post. You think that's Mr. Richter's intention? Uh, let's see here. The reformists suggested change. Uh, cha suggested changes would also bring the communists who are backed by Canada into the assembly. Do you see the pattern yet? Um, let's see here. And what is your suggestion? We should take the necessary measures against communists and bloodish plots, as well as increasing our military budget against the possible conflict with Rumberg. And of course, not fall into the traps of the reformists by listening to their demands. They are clearly plotting to weaken the president and our whole administration in order to uh, exploit the situation. No conspiracy theory here, guys. No attempt to gaslight you. We have some very important information. It's funny rereading this because uh, a lot of this stuff, like the first time you go through, um, you don't really get how much you're getting played. This is getting slightly ridiculous. Please explain, Mr. Hawker. The person in question, Mr. Franz Richter himself, the leader of the reformists. We have enough information to infer that he has ties with Arkesia. Arkesia is aggressively growing their influence around the world. And now we have Mr. Richter coming up with these ridiculous demands for a new constitution amidst a chaotic period in Swordland. All the pieces are fitting perfectly. This is why the Supreme Court will be doing what it takes to stop these reforms and preserve the Constitution. You know, it's very convenient that um, all this stuff happened right before constitutional reform that would remove these guys' power, isn't it? Okay, so... Um, okay, so the leader of the opposition was going to Arkesia. Like... That is, that is the conspiracy that he was, he's a businessman who is going to the largest capitalist economy in the world on business. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Okay, so how did you find out about this? Many solists were already following his leads for quite some time, Mr. President. I cannot give away their identities, but I can't give you the evidence. Look, I'm, I'm telling you basically there's a deep state and that it's spying on everybody, but don't worry about it. Okay. Okay, so let's go down the, like, the conspiracy theory here. So Arkesia is behind the reformists and their goal is to lower the voting threshold so that the communists and pro-independence party will get into, will be able to get seats in the assembly and that will capitalist country wants the communists to gain political power for some reason. And, and Rumberg is also involved with this somehow, and none of this makes any sense. There's not much to think or check. This is clearly an emergency. In such cases, the Constitution gives the president the right to use emergency powers. If we work together, you can be sure that the Supreme Court would not block your declaration of emergency. 
Uh, I'm going to have to decline. I think this is... Yeah. It seems you are influenced by Mr. Gallade way more than you think. Why don't you explain your agenda yourself, Lucian? You are swaying the president to ignore the national security threats. Uh, okay. Well, Mr. President, do you want to talk about how we can fight against these reformists and the others, or have you made up your mind? No, I'm like, no, I'm not going down this rabbit hole. I see. Sit yourself, um, Mr. President, play into the hands of Swordland's enemies. There will be... Uh, I'm sure he's about to threaten us. Mr. President clearly doesn't want to talk to us. Let's just give him some room before he disrespects the judiciary further. You are right. They stay outside and leave. They clearly tried to threaten you. Uh, we need to take care of them. Okay, uh, we need to be careful. There are still many old guard sympathizers in a party. We can't let them divide the party, and we will clearly try. Okay, so the old guard is going to come after me. So we will uh, we will deal with that as it comes up. All right, next turn. Trials of democracy. We're going to get rid of democracy if possible. We're going to have a constitution... That is democracy with Argent characteristics. Okay. I'm I'm actually gonna skip this scene. If if people wanna like pause and read it, you can. I I don't wanna I'm just not gonna listen to Frank. Frank is too is just too obnoxious. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna give my kid beers. Okay. Uh, see, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, why did you join the, the, the Young Swords? Swordland was under attack by communists and I had to defend the country. That's the base name. Okay. All right. There we go. Really painful. Oh, we're gonna have a. Jeez. Oh, How long till I actually get to the budget? Okay, so we're heading to uh, Western Swordland, um, which is where the oil and gas industry is. Um, the whole area is under control of Gasom, which is a privately owned Swordish energy company. Okay. All right. The scenery so far, reflection of Nargles of Neglect. Okay. And my discomfort from the bumpy ride was apparent to him. Sir rolled down the partition uh, window. We'll be arriving at Hotel West in a few minutes, sir. Thank you for letting me know. Anytime, it's my duty. After a minute, Serge started to smile under his mustache. How's life, Serge? Just wanted to say it's been great these last two months. As you know, my wife, Susan, just gave birth to our son, sir. Uh, and now my daughter just started a very good high school in Whole Sword. That's great news, sir. I'm happy for you. I appreciate it, sir. Truly, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to afford a good private school if she scored less in the entrance exams. But I shouldn't have made my insecurity get to me. Uh, Erica outsmarts me all the time. I'm very proud to have a daughter like her. Serge is such a nice dude. I love Serge. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I hope Dana, I hope my daughter will grow up to be like her mother. Okay. Uh, I'm just, okay. You're right, it's hard for her. I'm just skipping some of this. Okay. I agree. As I told you, we named my son Georg. The doctor said he is very healthy, and thankfully so is my wife. That's good. I hope the hospital had good service. Normally, we would be treated in one of the suburban hospitals, 
But thanks to the special coverage of the presidential staff, we got transferred to the state hospital. That's nice. It's a good hospital. I've already been start thinking about their university education, especially Erica. I want to send her to a good private school, but with the current state of the economy, it's going to be hard for us. Although, dude, you work for the government, so I'm sure, like, I don't know how much your paycheck is actually affected by the economy. So I'm going to be generous because <clears throat> it's Surge, and I love Surge. So I'm going to go with this option. My driver's family shouldn't want for anything in this world. I'll cover your children's education and any other extra expenses. Mr. President, I don't know how I can ever repay you for this. Thank you so much. A good education is worth more than any amount of money. Exactly, sir, you're right. Uh, I think I have decided I will give your name to my boy, George Anton Volkner. May he grow strong like you. Ah, oh, sir, such a sweetheart. Nice ring to it. I like it. Okay. All right. So we're at a super expensive uh, hotel. Okay, see you later, Serge. Okay. I arrived at the meeting room for my talk with Sierra and Pascal. Uh, before beginning, I took a moment to appreciate the view from the balcony. Okay, there's Pascal, I think. Pascal is Minister of Health, Social Affairs, and Labor. I think he is the reform side of the party. Um, and Sierra, I believe, is... I forget if she's a communist. Um... She's definitely on the left wing of the party. Okay. My intention is to help the working class. Uh, we're not going to help the working class, but we're going to say we're going to help the working class. If you look past the view, you can see the real problems. Real problems like poverty. It's true. It, poverty is a is a real problem. Okay, let's see here. Uh, I don't need to tell you uh, my own ex uh, experiences with poverty. Poverty. I'm sure you have similar stories. Am I right, Mr. President? Uh, we've all gone through difficult times. Uh, true, but some lives are more difficult than others. Like ours was. It still is for hundreds of thousands in Swordland. Although I came from a super wealthy family, so, um, yeah. You don't have to be born poor to sympathize with the plight of the impoverished. Much as you don't have to have been born a woman to recognize Swordland's need for parity among the sexes. Well, I mean, you can become a woman. Um, parity among the sexes shouldn't be our first priority. Look at how many high-ranking female politicians our country has. I mean, yeah. Appearances can be deceiving, Pascal. Um, thinking of, Think about how Graf got to her current position. I don't necessarily believe the rumors about her and Seoul, but she could never have risen that high if she didn't parrot his cause. Okay, so I guess... Um, I guess... Uh, there's a belief that uh, Graf is actually Soul's lover or something like that, which is a picture that I, a mental picture I really, I really didn't need. Gloria Tory is, is it an accident that the first female assembly speaker is such a staunch conservative? And then there's habit of um, El then there was Alfonso's habit of promoting women to prominent positions to give uh, Swordland a progressive sheet while accomplishing nothing in reality. 
I like how like female politicians have to be like shit libs. If female politicians aren't liberals, they don't count as real pol like as real female politicians. Because there's no way that like Gloria Tory could just be a conservative. Uh it's necessarily that she's like I don't know, a puppet of the deep state or something like that. I don't know. Meanwhile, okay, so, well, when in places like Narble are denied any opportunity for advancement, the government can use a handful of female politicians from wealthy families, myself included, to pretend their only obstacle to success is their lack of initiative. Well, it is, but... Meanwhile, those of us who don't use our clout to help powerful men stay in power are denigrated as angry spinsters. I ask you, Mr. President, does anyone care? <clears throat> well, Sierra, you're attractive and you have a high IQ, so you should be having, like, eight kids for the good of Swordland. Does anyone care that Lucian doesn't have a wife? Um, <laughs> I've been wondering about that, actually. Um, okay. Our welfare, healthcare, and education systems have been decaying since the recession. Swordland's poor communities are losing hope. Hopelessness and a lack of opportunities can drive people to extreme such solutions. We're seeing an increased crime, domestic violence, and yes, rising inequality between men and women. They were already as e unequal as they possibly could be, but now they're getting more unequal than that. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, so Pascal's talking about how he wants to implement a workers' rights bill, which I haven't decided if I'm going to veto or not. Like, the worker rights bill is theoretically pretty, um, uh, like, reasonable, but we're in the middle of a massive recession. Uh, there's always improvement room to do it also a matter of life and death every decade we hear some horrific accident due to employers disregard for their workers safety like i don't even necessarily disagree i just find sierra kind of insufferable uh would you back the bill when it arrives on your desk i would need to look at it okay let's head inside okay all right what do we have in mind pascal as you wish mr president Swordland has a free healthcare system except for a few private hospitals operating under it. Most of the populace receives adequate treatment. Health issues primarily appear in rural areas due to a lack of quality services. I'm doing my best to ensure the citizens of all ages receive the best healthcare they can. I also want to solve the high infant uh, and maternal mort mortality problems. Okay, how many hospitals do we have? We have um, 32,000 doctors and 74,000 uh, nurses. That's a high number. What I think is, I don't want to be rude, but how? But out of those numbers, how many are in urban and in rural areas? Let's not interrupt each other. That's not a problem. The number of doctors per 10,000 is far lower in rural. That's not uh, compared to urban areas. Treatment. Time is still too high due to a low number. Okay. Um, maybe she got, maybe he misunderstood her. Cause I think her point was that there aren't any doctors in rural areas and he's, I don't know. Uh, how many hospital beds per 10,000, 10 beds per um, 10,000 citizens, which is a good number in comparison with our other neighbors. Uh, we're higher than all of the uh, than the neighbors, but not as many as um, Lespia uh, or Volksland. Uh, we aren't in a huge health crisis yet. What is life expectancy? Life expectancy is 65 years and infant mortality uh, rate is a worrying 
85 per 1,000 births. Wow. That is, a, that is really high. That is really high. That's almost like 10%. I want to hear about the education system. Swordland and Swordish education is free, but we have a very outdated system I want to reform. The other important issue is the lack of access to education, rural issues, especially um, for young girls. Your administration has the power to solve both problems. My highest priority is to get enough funding to be able to build schools in rural is areas while I cleanse our educational system of its nationalistic indoctrination and sexist teachings. Uh, what is the literacy rate? 80%, which is not bad. Um, it needs to increase. It's far lower among girls than boys. Okay. All right. How many students and teachers do we have? Uh, okay, so... You should help. Okay, thank you, Sira. I can fill in the blanks. Okay, I think that's everything. Okay. What is it, Sierra? Looking at this impoverished city, the, the streets full of potholes, the hospital barely functioning, the school half open. This is not just about Saul or even Alfonso falling, failing. This decay in Swordlands Forgotten Regions has been going on uh, for many decades due to structural corruption, which is fueled by capitalism. But Swordland isn't even a capitalist country. And Seoul ran a statist economy, so shouldn't you be happy? Like, most industries were nationalized under Seoul. Pascal, what do you think? There's not, uh, but it is also, okay, so he's also against capitalism. Okay, so. Okay, what are you working towards, Pascal? Uh, I want to improve the quality of healthcare in rural areas. Okay, that sounds good. So I created draft plans to increase the salary of doctors and to upgrade the equipment in the hospitals. I can do more with a increased budget. Additionally, a privatization plan to promote investments in the healthcare system could allocate extra funds. Uh, isn't access a bigger issue? Access is an issue. Okay, so they're saying that in the um, uh, rural areas, it's not, it, people don't have access. But the bigger problem is that the access they do have is terrible. So, okay. Okay, tell me about your plan, Sierra. Okay. Uh, they need more money by building schools in the less fortunate rural areas and through fundamental change to the education system. I will unlock the potential of all our children, boys and girls alike. Okay, that sounds good. Yes, but at what cost? Okay. I'm going to privatize. So you can privatize education, which I'm going to do. You can't privatize healthcare, though, unfortunately. Because if you privatize healthcare, then the conservatives will like overthrow you. So we'll reconvene at the budget meeting. Okay. All right. No, you can't. So you you can privatize health care. Um, it's just that the conservatives get really, really angry if you do that. 
and they won't support your um, uh, constitutional revisions. Hey, the matter regarding laborers is close to my heart. I would personally be grateful if you were able to resolve the concerns. Okay, so basically, uh, Gassom owns this part of the country. It's it's one of the poorest, least developed regions of the country. And the people here work under shitty living conditions for bad salaries. It would be difficult to imagine someone like Alfonso obsessed with his corporation give men... So if you want to privatize healthcare, you either have to do an autocrat run where you declare a state of emergency and then you don't have to worry about public opinion. Or if you're going through like a, a, a liberal run. See, I'm doing kind of a weird run because I'm I'm a like a uh, right wing capitalist uh, or like an authoritarian capitalist, whereas in Swordland, the authoritarian conservatives tend to be. Uh, pro central planning and the left liberals tend to be pro free market. So I'm kind of in a weird spot. Okay. Okay, I'm skeptical. Um, yep, current state of Narbel is super poor. Some people were in clothes with shoe sizes too large. Some kids did not even have shoes, but yet there was hope in their eyes. They were excited to see their president. Okay, so we are going to meet with Alfonso. Okay. Yeah, so the whole area is just complete shit. So that that seems to be uh, where we are at at the moment. Okay, so we're going to the place with the logo that says uh, depicts gas off. Okay, uh, let's see here. Good to see you, Gus. I wanted to talk to you. Okay, kind of help development. Okay. He's just talking about um, uh, investment opportunities. Okay, he kept talking, guides me towards the gas on building. I get the appeal of that green bill that's been making rounds in the assembly, but I'm telling you, if we put a brakes on that and funnel those funds into Gruny instead, we could make some real strides without spooking any potential investors. So the Green Bill is an Environmental um, Protection Act. We are not going to do that um, because we're in the middle of like a Great Depression and we don't have that. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so we're going to probably go with that. Okay, a sleek helicopter was cutting through the sky, sunlight glinting off its polished surface as it descended towards us. It was our next appointment, Al uh, Alfonso. Alfonso sure knows how to make an entrance. The man loves theatrics. Uh, okay. The workers' rights bill. Look, I'm all for giving hardworking folks what they deserve, but isn't it a bit hasty to push this while we are stuck in a recession? I just want to pull the chat. Am I reading enough of this? Because I just, I can't read all of it. So hopefully, like, you're following along. I'm just kind of trying to summarize what's going on stream, but there's just a lot of like extra dialogue. Uh, let's see here. Um, Gus, I get what you're saying, but isn't it high time we put people before profits? I see where you're coming from, Mr. President, but a prosperous country helps everyone, the workers included. If we're all sinking, nobody's winning. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm sorry if I keep bringing it up. It's just that's the main stumbling block with this is just um, having to uh, read this. Granted, like, once again, I played through this game probably like three or four times. I do think the writing is very good. Um, the people in this largely seem that they talk like real people. Um, it does. The dialogue doesn't feel or feel particularly stilted. Uh, I have faith you won't leave us hanging. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, I'm flattered, Mr. Press. Okay, let's see here. Calculated. Okay, so he's complaining because I selected Taurus, uh, which is an innovative Arkesian company to carry out the... Um, uh, building of the high speed rail project. So he's complaining because I didn't g give the contract to the oligarchs. So he says, calculator risk, Miss President Taurus is not the right call, but don't mind me. I'm just a civil servant who wants what's best for the sordish people. But I digress. That was really passive aggressive, Gus. Uh, let's see here. Um, why are there so many workers from abroad? The best talent in Swordland was snatched by the Sword of State Corporation in the 1930s. Most other corporations couldn't contend, so they had to look elsewhere. Uh, that, I'm, I'm sure that's the case. I'm sure. Here's the elevator. Alfonso ought to be up there. There's a separate entrance by the helipad. Just remember, um, Alfonso's our friend. We got the foundation for a great deal. Here we are, Ed, uh, Alfonso, my friend. Um, Alfonso was in it, stood up from his chair. He had a perfectly tailored suit. He wore as casually as pajamas. Okay, so there's Alfonso. He was the president right before you. Um, his term was an unmitigated disaster uh, in which he attempted to do a whole bunch of reforms. Uh, none of them really worked out and it left the, com the country in a complete ruin. President Rain, I hope you enjoyed seeing our facilities here. Uh, the facilities appear to be in much better shape than the city around them. You should have seen Narbel before Gassam came here. The jobs it generated have had a lasting positive effect. I'm sure they have, Alfonso. I'm sure they have. Now, something I would really like if they put in this game is the skip button, because there's no skip button. So you have to click every time you go through it. Most visual novels will have a skip previously read dialogue, or at least you can hold like the control key down or something and it'll speed through it to the next decision. This game does not have that. I have no idea why. But let's continue. Oh, it's been a while, Mr. Rain. Let me catch up. Let me catch you up on my activity since I left office. Uh, okay, he went to China. Uh, then. Okay, he's just talking about a bunch of countries. I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what they are. Along the. Okay. Reputation and legacy. These two pillars embody the lasting impact we leave behind in the way we are remembered by others. I've been, so Alfonso says, I've been thinking about my own legacy and reputation and I refuse to be remembered as a failed reformer. I put so many years of my life into this corporation and then I left it all behind and devoted myself to serving the people of Swordland and greatly enriching myself in the process. 
and serve you did, Swordland would be much worse without you, Alfonso. Let me uh, kiss your ass. Uh, let's see here. Latest figures show that Gasom will have to either decrease staff and operations by 40% in one year or take on a crushing amount of debt. That is why we have decided to reach out to foreign investors. Uh, let's see here. Um, such as the Kingdom of Rizia, you mean. The Kingdom of Rizia certainly has valuable expertise and resources in the energy sector. Uh, okay, so they're going to consider getting the Kingdom of Rizia to invest. Uh, the demand for gas is steadily um, increasing from both international partners in the sort of state. All we have to do is ensure a consistent supply and we'll get lots of money. That sounds good to me. Uh, let's see here. The other trouble, okay. The trouble is that right now some of our fields are operating at only half of their capacity due to resource limitations but we have significant potential for expansion, including two new fields that haven't even been tapped yet. Uh, with the right amount of investment, we can expand resource extraction, effectively fulfilling the and effectively fulfill rising demand and ensure long-term stability and profitability. There's an aforementioned interest from Rizia, but the investment could also come from Swordland. Oh, hey, Right Wing. Nice to, to see you. Kingdom of Riz. Uh, let's see here. Right. You know, you do know that Rizia can invest more than 20% unless the government present, permits the transaction, which can take a long time, which is precisely why you were invited here as part of this discussion. Okay, so Colonel Soul passed a, um, a bill during the 1920s that said that only... 10% of Swordland's energy infrastructure can be owned by external parties. Alfonso raised it to 20%. So you have the option to go back to 10%, keep it at 20%, go to 49%, or completely remove it. So I'm going to go to 49% because it just makes the most sense to me. Because uh, then it, we still maintain domestic control of it, but there's a lot of room for foreign investment. Oh. Uh. Okay, um, I'm going to say uh, I'm going to invest together with Rizia because working together with uh, foreign countries is good. It's a good way to improve your relations and it's a good way to get more people involved and have a stake in Swordland's economy. Okay, uh, the treasury situation is a concern. This path could be the most optimal. Right. Uh, okay, Gasom would be able to cover 80% of Swordland's gas needs in three years, and we would achieve profits four times the value of our investment. Okay. Um, let's see here. Okay, so I'm telling him that if we invest in Gasom, then I want to make sure that the company is improving uh, Narbel, that they're making the place nicer. Uh, so he says, I agree the well-being of Narbel citizens is a high priority for Gasom. With this investment, we could certainly allocate some funding to improve the local infrastructure and create more jobs. Uh, what if we tie Gasom's growth to Narbel's development Get the company to invest in the community, you know, that way everybody wins. Okay. Uh, they're telling me that I'm awesome because I'm supporting the uh, free market. Okay. All right.
Okay, so I'm going to co-invest with the Kingdom of Rizia. I think that makes the most sense. All right, so Gasom gets money. They're going to develop the local area. We're not spending it all ourselves, and we're getting a good tie with um, uh, Rizia. So I don't know. That all seems pretty good to me. It's going to cost one government budget, but uh, that's okay. Uh, let's see here. Right. Um, so this isn't exactly corruption because I'm not getting any money out of this. Now, Alfonso is corrupt as sin because he's the former president and he's using his connection with you to try to get money to invest in his um, gas company that he's the president of. That being said, the development of Swordlands Natural Resources is definitely something we need to do anyways, so we're just going to have to put up with his nonsense for now. Okay, I would like the um, the wages of Gasom's blue-collar workers be increased. Okay. I will personally ensure that we review their salaries and work towards providing them with competitive compensation. Promises are a start, but the people need actions, not words. I see. Look, I look forward to seeing concrete changes. Okay, uh, speaks volumes. This could be a turning point for Gasom and Narbo. Okay, so like, I think that's a pretty good deal. Part of the agreement is I'm giving them the money, and they're raising their wages, so they're going to invest in the local community. It's a win-win. There's nothing really wrong. I like public-private partnerships, but they like they have to be from a standpoint of uh, not having the private sector dominate. Okay, there is a, a riot going on. Uh, block the main vehicle exits. Okay, so the Communist Party showed up and they are rioting. Uh, let's see, Alfonso saying, I have a helicopter ready. We can leave undetected and avoid chaos and potential danger. Uh, let's just take the helicopter and leave through that. Um, I'm just going to go with that. Okay, we're going to fly to the Blue Mansion and Les Shaven. Okay. Surge, run in. Uh, Mr. President, I, I have discussed the situation with the Presidential Guard, the police security. They are advising us not to go out the way we came. We must make a decision, Mr. President. We're going to take the uh, helicopter and go out that way. Okay, so we have policy updated. Uh, state co-investment with Rizia. Okay, and let's see, what do we have here? Businesses bailed out. Uh, Grunley barely maintains growth, stagnated production, uh, order. I'm going to go with Alfonso and his helicopter. Okay. Let's see here. Just some descriptive text. Now that uh, we've escaped an angry mob together, mob together, may I call you Anton? Of course, Alfonso, you don't even need to ask. I must say, Anton, this was quite the adventure we had. Never a dull moment with you around, eh? Your driver did a, good jo a great job escorting us out of there. He's a keeper. I heard from Gasom Security, the police, about some armed gang activity in the area a week ago. Better safe than sorry, right? Um, yep, it was an adventure, wasn't it? And I agree, Surge is the best. Just doing my job, Mr. President, and I'm glad we're all safe. Uh, Mr. Alfonso, um, it's an honor to meet you in person. I was trained by your former driver. He always spoke highly of you. What a man he was. Always had a Mac for lightening the mood, even in the direst of situations. 
Uh, once we were stuck in a traffic jam for hours and he started singing old Swedish folk, so folk songs right there in the car. He had the whole motorcade laughing. Um, Serge, can you sing any Swedish folk songs to lighten the mood? I'm afraid I'm not much of a singer, Mr. President, but I know how to avoid traffic jams. Kit, what a marvel, Mr. President. I can't wait for the new tra uh, railway to transform transportation in Swordland. Seeing it from above is like witnessing history in the making. Kit, uh, it's a statement that shows Swordland is ready for the future. Just wait until it's completed. Logistical operations will never be the same. A revolutionary vision from a, re uh, a visionary president. My apologies, gentlemen. I don't mean to dominate the situation. Um... Who needs Newman's entertainment where you can hear, listen to Serge raps? Uh, okay, I'm going to just go with it's always a pleasure to listen to you, Serge. Uh, I appreciate you saying that, Mr. President. Swordland has always been my great love. I love Serge. Okay. All right. You can pause to read this. It just this isn't particularly. Um, this is just kind of some lore about this particular uh, city. Okay, let's see. Uh, agreed, we need to ensure our sovereignty isn't compromised. Maintaining control is critical, even as we build stronger alliances. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, going to push for a review of our workers' salaries. We need to ensure they receive competitive uh, compensation. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Uh, fair wages are fundamental to worker satisfaction. That's great. Okay, so there we go. And we're just going to let go back to the capital. Uh, okay. Okay, well, thank you for your fine company, Serge. Well, even Alfonso likes Serge. Okay, there we go. We'll be in touch. Okay, there we go. Let's see, what are we at? Are we at the budget or at the? Or are we finally at the budget or are we at the reform committee yet? Nope, stability order. Okay, so I can ban somebody. An investigation on the influence of the Young Swords and Red Youth organizations on the post-assassination unrest has concluded. Both organizations haven't officially organized or called for illegal actions, but several low- to mid-level leaders from both have links to incite ac insightful actions that led to death, injuries, and instability. This allows us to ban these organizations. We're going to ban the Red Youth.
Okay, so we're gonna take a look at this. If 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 I'm wrong, then I'm gonna have to restart the game, and um, we might have to end it here for today. Okay, so this is the reform committee. So we're going to see um, what I wind up getting as the options. I'm fine. Good to hear. Let's see here. Okay. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning. Time to finally get this proposal going. Okay, let's go. Okay. okay, so no, it it didn't it didn't go properly. Uh even when I I edited the save file, it didn't work. So I'm going to like end the stream here and then we will and get back to this point. Um, and then in the next stream, we will go through the um, the reform progress. Because I, I do want to do a semi-dictatorship constitution. And it's just not letting me do that this time. So we're going to we're gonna 